Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I continue my Japanese prefecture tour after quite a delay, uh, but it is what it is. And uh, we previously flew through Shikoku, which is this island over here, and we are going to head back over to Honshu, which is the big island of Japan. And we are going to approach it at Yamaguchi Prefecture, only this little part. We're basically missing a bulk of Yamaguchi Prefecture here. And previous, uh, I had teased uh, this area here when we went to Kitakyushu and took a look at Kanmon Bridge, which is one of the special sites that they have there. But otherwise, there aren't exactly a whole lot of special sites in the middle of Yamaguchi Prefecture, at least not those that are listed. And so we'll just... I, I didn't want to go double back. We already have sort of a double back situation here going on across Honshu here. But... Yeah, I didn't want to go all the way there and all the way back because we were at Matsuyama. So we're going to take a brief look at Yamaguchi Prefecture at Iwakuni here. We might actually go this way around uh, to hit uh, Yashiro Island there. And then there's this shrine that they definitely have as a special site. Then we're going to go across to Shimane Prefecture briefly at Iwami. Uh, that's actually, uh, the city's called Masuda there. So Masuda City, it's Iwami Airport. And then across down to this bridge here, Tatara Bridge, uh, we'll be flying over Hiroshima, the city. The Hiroshima, the airport, is quite a ways outside the city, it looks like. Um, it, I think it might be in Higashi, Hiroshima, which is East Hiroshima. Anyway, so that's the plan, and I'm going to fly a uh, Coronado Ovation. Uh, the Mooney Ovation, so that is the idea. And let me just see that my fuel is correct. Okay, I mean, it's probably more fuel than I need. Well, we're already rolling, so we might as well roll decisively. So, Matsuyama is the city we are departing there. Okay, so this in front of us is Yashiro Island. Apparently Yashiro Island is also called Suo Oshima Island. It's part of a group called the Boyo Islands and there's 41 of them. It's one of the bigger ones, but you can sort of see most of the 41 right here. Uh, apparently, some of them are in Yamaguchi Prefecture and the others are in Ehime Prefecture, which is the one that we just left. I think, I mean, a lot of stuff seems to be named Suo Oshima. Like the high school and stuff like that. So I guess it's just sort of generally Suo Oshima. We've got sort of an adverse wind. Our ground speed is only 158 knots. Uh, the indicator speed is higher than that. But we'll be turning soon. So Suo Oshima Island or Yashiro Island is the one behind us. That's what we've got there. And then in front of us is Honshu. Well, there's this small island called Kasasa Island. But then Honshu and the city right there is Yanai. And so this is all part of Yamaguchi Prefecture. And we are going to hang a right. So, brief look at Yanai. Don't know much about it. Obviously a port city. Sort of keeping an eye out for random unexpected sites you never know. Just because it's not a point of interest that they thought to mention doesn't mean interesting things might not be there. The city we're headed to now is called Iwakuni. 
Yeah, I think the this uh, town by the river mouth here is called Yu. Y U U. And next one up here is called Suzu. And uh, Iwakuni is the city around that larger river up ahead, that river mouth. Now in uh, Iwakuni there is supposed to be a Kintai Bridge. And I might take manual control here. All piled off. My uh, right wrist has been hurting, so that's why I decided to go with the autopilot this time. Otherwise, normally I don't use autopilot. I doubt the Kintai Bridge is going to be there, but let's see. Sort of a nice looking airport. Uh, I mean, not detailed buildings or anything, but I just like the way it's sort of laid out. There's certainly a bridge where there ought to be one. Let me slow down a bit. I, I don't think they... it's not a point of interest bridge. But it's there. It's that one at our left wing right now. I think. <laughs> there are a lot of bridges. I'm pretty sure... It, I'm pretty sure that's the one that's uh, labeled on the map Kintai Bridge. But yeah, none of these bridges have been given special attention. I believe the river is called the Imazu River. There's the Itsukushima Shrine, which is on the island. I think that was our target. Let me take, take a look here again. Um, well, yeah, it actually labels it on the GPS. That's nice. I didn't think it would. There's the Kosei River. And I think the Kosei River is the one that forms the boundary between Yamaguchi Prefecture and Hiroshima Prefecture. This town is called Otake, which I think means Big Bamboo. So the Itsukushima Shrine I think is on the opposite end of the island to our right here. There are other islands in uh, Hiroshima Bay. This is Hiroshima Bay we're over right now. So this island is called Itsukushima and there's supposed to be a shrine at that town. We'll probably have to do multiple passes. I don't know. Is it that thing in the bay? Well, I think it's this entire complex here. I mean, it must be because that's obviously not just an autogen thing. Okay, let me not bust the plane. I really, I'm really pushing it hard today. We'll take another pass. This is thankfully a very sporty plane. It's even got the air brakes. So there's that so the gate and then the complex over there, I'll go around one more time. There's a truck going down that mountain there. That's special. Yeah, there's one of those gates in the water. They use that as the image for the update, the Jap Japan update. But okay. There we go. Is the whole thing supposed to be over water? That's pretty impressive. I should take a look at it uh, from real life photos. Okay, anyway, but that's how it is in the game. So, we're going to fly over the Hiroshima suburb of Hatsu Kaichi. Kaichi? Hatsuka Ichi. Maybe Hatsuka Ichi. Mm, 
yep, that's what we're going to be flying over here. And then instead of flying over Hiroshima directly, which would be to our right, we are going to first deviate to the city on the north coast of Honshu in Shimane Prefecture. And far off to the right there, you can see, so I get a sense of Hiroshima. Large port facilities and such. So no uh, special site in Masuda. We're just gonna take a look at the town because it's one of the bigger towns. Uh, well, at least in this part of Shimane Prefecture, it's one of the bigger towns. Further northeastward, there is an Izumo, which is pretty big. But uh, that's sort of close to other cities in Totori. And that we'll do next time. Well, the landscape escalated quickly, didn't it? We're not that long from uh, Hiroshima and it's all mountains now. Well, lots and lots of trees. There's some uh, season packs available, payware, on uh, Sim Market, and they have me curious because after all, the trees look very similar. <laughs> I mean, it's all the same sort of deal here. And I'm wondering if the season packs can add some variety to the situation. But I don't know. I think I'll have to take a closer look at that later. I mean, I appreciate the trees and all. Definitely appreciate the trees. Well, we can see the north coast there. So this is Shimane Prefecture now. Just the western end of it though. It's a bit cloudy over here. I'm just taking a look to see whether there are any unintentional interesting sights. It does not appear at this point to look like it. And there's the airport. So alright, this is our little tag of Shimane Prefecture. And we are going to turn around back to Hiroshima. Uh, I don't know if at Ultra the textures will be crisper. Oh, it actually says uh, Iwami there at the airport. I have the text there. Okay, we are on our way to Tatara, which I believe was a bridge. Turning around, well, there's a interesting view of Masuda City as the autopilot turns us around. Nice seats. The bigger river here, incidentally, is the Takatsu River, and then the smaller one to the east is the Masuda River. Finally got it to a 200 knot ground speed here. For my patience, it's probably not good for super long flights. It's a nice plane, but only for these uh, tighter tours. Let's see. Is that the right fuel level? It's got the little fuel gauge there. US gallons 24 or so. Um, only if it's like reading half of something. I don't know, maybe there's two tanks. But the capacity of that tank isn't 30 gallons, I don't think. We've got two 44.5 gallon 
tanks. Apparently. And I guess I might as well go for selecting the right tank now, just to keep it balance a bit. Okay, Hiroshima again. Let's see over there, I'm gonna tell it to descend a bit. Hopefully not too fast. And maybe a little bit more silverly. The river that uh, runs through Hiroshima and has its mouth at Hiro Hiroshima is the Ota River. And I'll take it off of autopilot for a bit, I think. Uh, finding exactly where to click on here to take it off of autopilot is annoying sometimes. You can sort of see a square pond in the midst of which is a square island. That's Hiroshima Castle. Or at least uh, Hiroshima Castle grounds. And then there's a Memorial Peace Park and the Atomic Bomb Dome. So uh, to our left is the grounds of Hiroshima Castle. And around here is the Memorial Peace Park. That's right in front of us here, this park on this island here. And behind us there's an atomic bomb dome location there. Those sites are obviously not apparent, I don't think. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in particular on the map to point out specifically. So that's Hiroshima. This city here is Kumano, another suburb of Hiroshima, though uh, certainly more agricultural looking, lots of fields. I don't see a distinct name for this area up ahead here. There's a city on the coast uh, down to our right there called Kurde. And this area up here might be associated with that as well, through that pass. It's all along the same river. Uh, it's called the Kurose River. Okay, I see on the map where the Tatara Bridge is. There's a whole long chain of islands here to our right extending out from Kure this is actually a bunch of bridges on the map sort of linking a bunch of those islands I'm trying to figure out a name for this area here is a bunch of stuff it's called Mitsu Bay but I'm trying to figure out the town name if there is one. There's a train station called Kazahaya and there's another one called Akitsu. I don't know the name of the town in particular. The island to our right here is called Osaki Kamizima Island. And it's a pretty big one got some nice towns on it. Beyond it in front of us uh, the big island there is called Omishima Island and it's the it's one of the two that the bridge links. So Omishima Island is on this side and then beyond it we can actually see the bridge over there if you can take a look there. I'll take it off of autopilot. 
if I can. Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, so Omishima Island and Ikuchi Island is the one beyond it that it links to. Once again, interesting choice of bridges, but at least we got some. There's so many bridges around here. The bridge here, the Tatara Bridge, is part of a highway that links a whole bunch of these islands. So it weaves its way through a chain of them. They're all pretty close together. They're like their own parallel thing next to the mainland. Well, I say mainland. Next to Honshu. It's also an island, so everything's an island. Okay, so this is... What was it again exactly? Tatara Bridge. Tatara Bridge. Has a sort of familiar looking shape to the towers. Cars are driving on it. That's always good. <laughs> okay, so that's Tatara Bridge. We're just gonna head to Hiroshima Airport now, which is way to the east of Hiroshima. We have not flown over it yet. So, uh, backward view of the bridge. As I once again put this plane to the ringer. Okay, inside. Well, it's only 12 miles to the airport, so I might as well just go ahead and fly it now. I thought it was in East Hiroshima, which is pretty far to the east of Hiroshima. Higashi Hiroshima. It's its own little city. We haven't even passed over it yet when we passed over Hiroshima. It's many towns away from Hiroshima itself. But no, the airport... I don't even know if it's properly called Hiroshima Airport, but it's much further to the east than everything else. I don't know. I don't know why it's so far away. It is. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. It's 25 miles away from the center of Hiroshima, the airport. I mean, I guess I've seen worse. I mean, at least it's still in Hiroshima Prefecture. I think I see it up there. Is that a, is that the top of that sort of plateau there? There's like nothing around here. They really didn't want to put the airport anywhere close to anything. Yeah, I think it is at the top of that plateau, which is sort of nifty. We'll fly over it and I'll come around. Sort of reminds me of the airport at Sedona that uh, some of the training occurs in if you do the training missions in this game. Not much by way of buildings around here. Fairly simple setup, but it's scenic. Got that gorge to the right there. Interesting roadways there. This old business to the left here. Yep, definitely scenic. Can't actually see Hiroshima from here. <laughs> uh, not, not really. And we can see the airport back there. It says Hiroshima there. It's definitely Hiroshima Airport. It's not like some other Hiroshima airport. They've labeled it. They've labeled it. It's getting rather cloudy out here. Probably a good time to end the flight. Jeez, that is a serious overcast. 
Okay, landing gear down. A little bit of flaps. More flaps. Air brakes off. You suppose the Pappy lights are telling the truth? Hmm. I don't think they are. Oh, no, no, okay. Now we've got a red. Alright. Seems okay. It's making me wonder for a sec there. I don't want to end up in the trees. Okay, coming in. Okay, we're down. Interesting ground wobble, but and raise the flaps and I see those little green dots. I'm gonna follow the green dots. I think. Yes, I have followed the green dots. Okay, so we are here at Hiroshima Airport. It is an interesting plateau style airport. Got some airliners parked here. We see a tower, so it's not all bad. And next time we will work our way up the island of Honshu, continuing on this prefecture tour. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.